So I have a spreadsheet with some sample data. You notice that I have fake student names, and the student names are repeated in the spreadsheet. I also have um, a number for their grade and a letter to match with that, and then what project they're working on. I do want to have, I'm going to insert one row above. I'm going to put student name, score, letter grade, I do want to have headers, uh, column headers for, each, for all of my data. And then what I'm going to need to do in order to do a pivot table is I'm going to need to highlight the columns that have the data. It's a little bit tricky. You want to make sure that you're actually on the column letters. So I'm above the column headers. So where it says A, B, C, D here at the top, I'm clicking on A and I'm coming across so that I'm highlighting each of the columns. So you'll now notice that I have all four columns are highlighted. I do need to do this manually. While you can click on the corner to select all the data, that doesn't work for a Google pivot table, so you will need to manually highlight the columns that have the data. You then want to go to the data menu, and under data menu, it says pivot table report. So I click on pivot table report, and it looks like nothing happened. You will notice that I do have a separate tab. It says pivot table one versus all my data, which is in sheet one. So if I go to pivot table one, it's set up for rows and columns and for my information to be in the center. So you'll notice the report editor over here on the side is gonna help me build my pivot table report. Now if I click off of the pivot table, the pivot table editor, report editor, goes away. So I'm gonna need to click back on the pivot table itself to have the report editor show up. So what kind of information do I want to summarize? So I'm going to go over here to rows and maybe in this case I would like to summarize the assignment titles, the assignment names. So you will notice from the data that it says project one, project one, project one, project two, project two multiple times, quiz A multiple times, quiz B multiple times, and warm up multiple times. But on my pivot table, it only lists them one time. So it summarizes that information. Now it's really important that everything is spelled exactly the same way. So a hint is if you're using a Google form to collect the information, that you use a drop down list or multiple choice uh, to get the information rather than relying on students to type it in. If they were to misspell or if they would put a space bar on some and not a space bar in others, it would summarize those differently. You will notice here on the um, report editor that it gave me the option for how I want to sort it. So alphabetically, um, I want to sort it by the assignment title and then whether or not I want to show totals. So then once I have those, I can go to values. So I'm going to come down to the third option and I click add field. So when I click add field, what do I want to count or summarize? So if I go to their score, You'll notice by default it adds up their scores. So all the points of all the students adds up to 57 points for project one and adds up to 50 points for project two. That's not necessarily that useful for me to add up all of my students' scores for each assignment. So probably instead of sum, I probably would like the average. So I click here on the word sum and I say I don't want sum, I would like average. So then I can see that I have an average score of 2.85 uh, for project one, and I have an average score of 2.5 for project two, and an average score of 3.25 for quiz A. Um, I'm going to come back here to sheet one. I'm going to make another pivot table. So I'm going to again highlight the columns, new data, pivot table report. And I still would like to summarize by the assignment title, but in this case I'm also kind of curious is how my students did just letter grade wise. So I'm going to go here to columns and I'm going to choose add field and I'm going to go to their letter grade. So I am now comparing their assignment with their letter grade. Now if you want to you can highlight the columns and I'm going to choose here to center my information. I just think it's a little nicer to um, organize my pivot table with centering and resizing columns if I need to. 
So I want to look here is how many students got an A on Project 1 and how many students got a B on Project 1. So I'm going to click back on the pivot table to make the report editor show up. And then under values, under values, I'm going to want to count how many A's and count how many B's. So it doesn't matter what I count because I'm just going to count something. So I know everybody has a name um, in each row has a name. So that's really important that whatever you count, nothing was skipped. I like to use timestamp if I were to use this from a Google form because timestamp guarantees I have something to count. I didn't use a Google form, so I'm just going to choose student name. And it says here it's going to sum or add the student names. Clearly that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to click on sum, and what I want to do is I want to count them. Count is for numbers. Count A is not for numbers. So I'm counting names. It's not a number. So I'm going to count A. And so I'm now able to see that Project 1 had four A's. Project 1 had four B's, three C's, three D's, and six F's for a total of 20 students. Um, you'll notice because I did it this way, I just copy and paste the whole roster. Everyone turned in Project 1, everyone turned in Project 2, everyone turned in Quiz A, etc. Um, and looking at it this way, I see I had 20 A's all together in the class. I had 25 B's all together that were assigned on various assignments, 15 C's, 17 D's. So having this summary data gives me a really nice chart that I can use to see how my students are doing. I see I have 23 F's that I gave out uh, out of 100. I have 100 total scores that were inputted into the spreadsheet. So you'll notice on here, I should go down to 101 because I have 100 times that was inputted in there. So of those 100 pieces of data, 23 of them were F's. So maybe I want to look at um, those students and who they are. And I'm wondering who is it that's getting F's? So maybe I want to look at that. So I'm going to go back here to sheet one. I'm going to highlight my columns, and I'm going to choose Data, Pivot Table Report, and I would like to go to Rows. I'm going to add a field, and I'm going to list the student's name. And then in my columns, I'm going to do the assignment titles. So I have my different assignments. And for my values, I want to have their score, and so I can see from the score there how they did, but I'm going to add a filter. I only want if their letter grade, so I'm going to filter this, all items, I'm going to clear this, I only want to know if their letter grade is an F, so I'm going to filter that. So only students who have an F are being shown right now. So I can see that Bethany on Project 1 got an F, Eliza on Project 2 got an F, and Graciela, my goodness, she got a total of four Fs, and I can see which assignments she got those Fs on. So you can see this is a really great tool for helping to analyze which student learners I need to target. Uh, to understand how scores go together, it'll automatically add and average and just save me a lot of time from having to try and look through my spreadsheet and make sense of a lot of rows. A pivot table will do that for me very quickly.